Hello everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Scents out here in the backyard. And as you can see, I'm still getting some blooms here on my okra plants. I just pulled out quite a few uh, just a few minutes ago, just harvested some. I'm so proud of this late summer uh, harvest going on here. You can see some that I've already harvested today. And I've also pulled up some peppers, which I will uh, be showing you that little pepper harvest a little bit later as well. Uh, I might pull up the zucchini. Remember, I planted one zucchini plant in the corner of this 4x4 bed, thinking, okay, the corner. And of course, you see it's taken over that whole backside, which is absolutely amazing. But there's a lot more to um, take a look at here in the backyard. I do want to show you one thing, though. Can you see that? Can you see that sugar baby watermelon growing along this fence? Oh my gosh, I'm using this fence as a trellis. And I have others that are growing. And it's amazing to see. Now that's a sugar baby right there. This is a Rocky Ford. Let me move that leaf. Rocky Ford flesh melon. They have a little hairs or something on the outside. But guess what happens as they get a little bit more mature? Look at this. I didn't realize. I didn't know what kind it was. It's actually something that's in the cantaloupe family. I am just really proud. I'm going to just uh, pay attention to this small melon patch that I have here in the corner. And of course, over here in these two uh, rolling bags here, um, you can see I have two. Let me get in the shadow so you can see. I happen to have there's a sugar baby right there. There's one there. I also have another one on the other side of the fence. Um, another Rocky Ford flesh melon. It's just doing very well on its own. And I'm really proud of this whole corner, this little melon patch that I have over here. So I wanted to let you see what's going on there. Also, one more thing. As you know, I have been growing some butternut squash that you can see here sort of lying all over the place and I'm going to be harvesting at least two of them today. Now all of them are not ready to harvest because the stems are still green. This one here even still has some little green stripes going down it and the stem that's feeding it is still giving it a lot of nutrition. It's alive and well. But here's one that's totally died all the way down to the squash itself. So that's going to be harvested a little bit later today. I think I'll do a separate video. And so will this one. And one thing besides the color of the stems is actually the color of the squash itself. I'm really excited about that too. So I'm going to be harvesting that. And you know, these are absolutely delicious. I like them baked there. And what's happened as you might look and say, oh, those are kind of dead, but not really, because they've stretched out, they've sent out these vines. I even have one that's sort of taken over this tomato bed. It's still even producing blooms. Can you see that? And in addition to that, let me see, where did I last see it? I actually have somewhere along this vine, or is it the other vine? a young squash plant that's actually, oh, here it is right down here. It's the other plant. Look at this, another one that's being produced. So it's been a great year. I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six squash plants that are going to be harvested soon. Two will be harvested later today. Anyway, wanted to give you an update on the garden. The um, tomatoes are really amazing. Let me show you one more thing. A lot of the tomatoes I had to pull up. The sun gulls pretty much exhausted themselves, so I pulled them up. And then I started spraying peroxide on one. Look at this one. Very beautiful, healthy tomato right there. A little peroxide. It seemed to have saved the plant, and it took on a brand new life. How about that? Anyway, I want to give you just a quick uh, update what's going on in the backyard and my pepper plant. I've had a really good pepper harvest today too. I'll share that with you uh, in a separate video. So anyway, uh, before I move up to the deck and let you see what's going on, just want to thank you all for watching and remember always to plant something and always eat what you grow. Take care everybody. Have a great day. Bye.